All right, gonna show you some blatant hypocrisy from Brian Dillinger and how Brian Dillinger, by his own standards, is condemning JT does as a false prophet. Okay, first gonna show you some scripture on this whole thing, on the thing of hypocrisy, because Brian Dillinger is professional at being a hypocrite on many different issues. And I understand a lot of his cult followers don't like that. That a lot of his cult followers don't like it when he speak against a leader, because all cults are like that. Okay, every cult leader or every cult member doesn't like it when he's speaking against their leader. They get all offended. But, you know, God's not a respecter of persons. Uh, Acts chapter 10. Actually, let me go to that scripture. God's not a respecter of persons. And if you're offended because I'm speaking against your cult leader, it just shows that you're a respecter of persons. Because uh, it also shows that if you're gonna just going to, you know, just disregard everything that's presented in this video. It shows that you're also answering the matter before you heard it, which is a violation of Proverbs 18.13. Acts 10.34 Then Peter opened his mouth and said, Of a truth, I perceive that God is no respecter of persons. Okay? God is not a respecter of persons. And if you're up there just, you know, thinking that Brian can just do no wrong, he's always right, and anyone who tries to criticize him or speak against him is lost, you're a respecter of persons. You're guilty of being a respecter of persons. Plain and simple. But Luke chapter 12, verse 1, the latter part of the verse, Beware ye of the leaven of the Pharisees, which is hypocrisy. Okay? Hypocrisy is a sign of the Pharisee. And I'm going to show you how in this video by Brian Dillinger exposing some end times false prophets, um, about 14 minutes and 7 seconds in, Brian Dillinger, by his own standard, condemns JT as a false prophet. I'm going to show you this. Watch this. Promotes a new version. But uh, this guy... What he does, typical of a false prophet, they will ride the news. Okay, what I mean by that is all the latest news stories, they just come out. And, you know, some of that's okay as a Christian, but just spending all your time just, you know, video after video after video after video, you know, multiple videos every single day, you know, just all the time, this is what you call an Athenian. You know, that's what you said there. What does a false prophet do, according to Brian? Okay, according to Brian, a false prophet, a prophet will, quote, ride the news and just report on, on the, all the latest news and everything. So by his standard, I guess JT does is a false prophet. And how Brian Dillinger said, you know, every single day news stuff about the news. Well, I guess JT is a false prophet thing because his, quote unquote, ministry is reporting on news. I mean, here's his website, the wine press, um, what's it called, the winepress.com or whatever. Um, it's all the latest news, and it's also daily news reporting as well. So, according to Brian Dillinger, according to his own standards, I guess JT is a false prophet. I guess he's an Athenian because he is writing all the latest news. And it's funny because JT, like, you know, would twist the scriptures and say, Oh, I'm just being a watchman. I'm just, you know, uh, no, you're reporting on news. This is not being a watchman, okay? Uh, it's ridiculous. You know, but what did Brian say? A false prophet will ride on all the latest news multiple times a day. Exactly what JT is doing. I mean, look, it's four days ago, four days ago, four days ago, uh, four days ago, 14 hours ago, 20 hours ago, 21 hours ago, you know, one day ago, one day ago, two days ago. He's riding on all the latest news. So, by Brian's standard, JT is a false prophet and an Athenian. Okay, and people say, well, well how, what, don't you do that on your website? Uh, no, actually, I don't. Okay, first of all, I don't do it on a daily basis. Okay, uh, first of all, my, my last post, uh, this is May 8th, uh, May 8th that I'm recording this, and my last post was on May 5th. My most recent post was on May 5th, and it wasn't a news story. It was just me showing a study of the recent, um, or this recent study coming out showing how the COVID-19 vaccine, let me just open that how the COVID-19 vaccine is, uh, it's, uh, where it produces excessive spike proteins causing irre irreparable damage to the brain. It wasn't a news story. It was just showing a study, okay? And I do do some news story type stuff on my website, my blog, but I don't just make it the whole thing of just news after news, just writing all the latest news. Because Brian said it's what a false prophet does, but that's exactly what JT does. So is JT a false prophet then? Is he an Athenian? Because he's writing all the latest news. So I just wanted to show you guys that. It's really funny. And again, I don't like report on just every single latest news story, okay? Very rarely do I actually even report on like recent news. I might, you know, pick a news story from like, you know, a couple, maybe a couple weeks ago, but 
you know, ridiculous. But just going to show you that. That was kind of funny. Uh, so by Brian's own standard, JT is a false prophet because he's writing the latest news. He's being an Athenian. So just had to show you guys that. It was just ridiculous. Just how, hip how hypocritical Brian is. So Brian condemns Tim for making a news video saying, oh, Tim's being a hypocrite. Uh, Brian, you know, you told Tim, oh, your hypocrisy is showing. Brian, your hypocrisy is showing blatantly. So anyway, don't, don't be deceived by Brian and his cult. Uh, I do consider him a saved person. He is saved, but he's got some very, very serious pride issues and he needs to repent. Okay, and me coming out and, and criticizing him for this is not me attacking a servant of God or, you know, a, you know, slandering a man of God. No, it's me pointing out his errors and hypocrisy. Nothing wrong with that. Hey, if you don't like that, it just shows you're a respecter of persons towards Brian and you don't like hear you don't want to hear anything bad about your little preacher. You know, just like any cult leader, would, any cult member would. Just like how in the IFB, how, you know, oh, don't speak against a man of God. You know, again, cult members don't like it when you speak against and, and condemn your leader. They don't like that. Uh, anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.